we are going to discuss about the anterior compartment of forearm. So this is a uh, dissected specimen of the right upper limb. This is the lateral side and this is the medial side. The anterior compartment or the flexor compartment, it is roofed by skin, superficial fascia and deep fascia. And the floor is formed by the anterior surface of the radius and anterior and medial surface of ulna and the introsious membrane between the radius and ulna. Laterally, it is uh, bounded by the radius, medially by the subcutaneous posterior border of the ulna. The main contents of the anterior compartment are the muscles, vessels and nerves. There are two sets of muscle, superficial and deep group of muscles. Most of the muscles of the superficial group arises from the medial epicondyle. This is the medial epicondyle. In the superficial group, from lateral to medial side, pronator terrus, flexor carpe radialis palmaris longus, and this is the flexor carpe ulnaris. This is the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle. From lateral to medial side, pronator terrus, flexor carpe radialis, palmaris longus, flexor carpe ulnaris, and flexor digitorum superficialis. According to the position of flexor digitorum superficialis, it may be described as the intermediate group of muscle between the uh, superficial and deep group. Pronator terrus, it has got two heads, humeral and ulna head, inserted to middle of lateral surface of shaft of radius. This is flexor carpe radialis muscle. This, this muscle also arises from the medial epicondyle inserted to the base of second and third metacarpal bone. It passes through a groove in the flexor retinaculum. Next is palmaris longus muscle, uh, origin common flexor origin and distally it is continuous with the central part of the palmar aponeurosis. Flexor carpe ulnaris has got two heads, humeral and ulna head and is inserted to the pisiform bone. The flexor digitorum superficialis muscle, humero ulnar head and radial head. This muscle ends in four tendons and it is inserted to the shaft of middle phalanx of the medial four fingers. Deep flexors. Here you can see the flexor pulses longus. This is a uh, left upper limb, lateral side and this is the medial side. Laterally, flexor pulses longus muscle arising from the anterior surface of the radius and introsious membrane and it is inserted to the base of distal phalanx of the thumb. It is a flexor pollicis longus, it is a flexor of the thumb. Medially, we have the flexor digitorum profundus. It arises from the uh, shaft of the ulna and introsious membrane and distally it uh, splits into four tendons for the medial four fingers. It is inserted to the uh, base of terminal phalanx of the medial four fingers. This is the pronator quadratus. It is a quadrilateral muscle and it arises from the lower part of anterior surface of ulna to lower part of anterior surface of radius and it is a principal pronator of forearm. Here you can see the ulna nerve and ulnar vessel. This is the ulna nerve entering the forearm between the two heads of the flexor carpe ulnaris muscle, radial artery, median nerve. Median nerve supplies the, all the superficial group of muscles that is except the flexor carpe ulnaris, pronator terrus, flexor carpe radialis, palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor carpe ulnaris is supplied by the ulnar nerve. And the branch of median nerve, this is the anti nerve accompanied by the anti introsious vessels. And the anti introsious nerve supplies the deep group of muscle except the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus. The medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus is supplied by the ulnar nerve. 